Hey crafters, this is Daphne with Dee Dee's Paperworks with some card shares and uh, a project that I did. Uh, let me start with the birthday cards. These are masculine birthday cards that I've done for birthdays for our church. This one, I did some embossing paste uh, with the vintage, um, it, actually the, it goes this way, the template goes that way, the stencil goes that way, but I decided to turn it on its side. And then I, um, this is kind of like the smushing where you put the ink, the distress ink on your craft mat and then spray it and then put your card down. That's exactly what I did here. Then I am, I put uh, vellum and embossed birthday on there, die cut happy, layered it two on, embossed it in green. And there's that card. This card is for a, a young man. He's probably going to be six. So um, I bought this stamp at a thrift store, colored him up, gave him a shadow, some balloons, layered, on a, layered him on some uh, decorative paper, stamped happy birthday to you, and that's his card. Now this is also a stamp that I found at the thrift store, and I just embossed it in black, gave it a black border, put it on some uh, slate gray paper, and put some jute rope on there, put Make-A-Wish, and that's another card. This is one I've done also with an embossing folder. I embossed it and then did the inking over it and put a brown banner on it. This birthday card, I let the paper do the work. Uh, this is from the same paper pack. Embossed a mustache, little label that says birthday wishes, a black border, and that was done. Now, this is also an a masculine birthday card obviously because it's got motorcycles on it not, not that women can't drive motorcycle ride motorcycles but this is a masculine card same stamp just put a little colorful streak there and a little banner for happy birthday now this is a feminine birthday card uh, this is watercolor background I stamped the flower from stamping up did a wash on it and a stem covered it up in a green border or green topper. I made a mistake here so I had to go over this with the uh, lighter paper and then re-emboss what it had inside. So this is also a, birth, a feminine birthday card. And this is the last feminine birthday card that I have. This is like letterpress, embossing folder um, with multiple inks on the bottom and then um, I die cut and inked them Put some ribbon on it and this is also another feminine birthday card now i've been giving out some embellishments that i've made here's two of them that i've made and i've had punches and and extra cardstock a whole bunch of leftover scraps and i really need to do something with them because they're just piling up it, when it gets to that point i got to do something to keep control of it and so <clears throat> excuse me i've had punches stamping up punches that i've had forever i've had Little punches, star punches, heart punches, flower punches. Um, this one, I inlaid a flower punch in there. And this paper I did um, on an embossing folder and just ran it over with dark ink to make it look like bark. Die cut a hello. Um, I used these two stamps, I mean these two punches. And used different words, different colors. This one I inlaid a heart. I did this also in squares, but this is all that I had right now to show you. So I found this Stampin' Up punch that I had wanted forever since it came out. And I was at the thrift store and I found it. And I was so happy, I brought it home and I had it on my craft table and then I thought, great, now what to do with it? So I made a couple of slider cards and that was all I could think to do with it. So as I was punching out some of the scraps, I had some papers just laying there and I had punched them. I would used this punch to punch out quite a few papers. And as they were laying there, I noticed it was kind of like in an ombre effect. And so I made this birthday card. This is a masculine birthday card. And I just glued it all here. I put little lines there to kind of keep myself straight. But this is what I came up with. And then, I don't know if you can tell up here, there's like a, um, an embossing there. I did the 
musical note embossing folder, die cut birthday wishes, layered it up two or three high, and then did the ombre on that, and then some red dots. And that's what I came up with for this punch that I just could not live without. <laughs> so I'm trying to think of more ideas to come up with to use this stamp, this punch. So if you ladies have, or, or crafters have any idea what else that can be used for, please let me know in the comments below and I would greatly appreciate it. So that's it for today. Um, I'm off to go get my husband from the airport and I will talk to you later. Oh, I'm planning on doing a tutorial on these. So that will be later when time permits, hopefully sometime today. But uh, thank you for watching and I will see you later.